Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Lexi here with a get ready with me Q&A. Y'all asked for it and I'm giving it to y'all. So if you guys want to see how I got this look and a little bit about me, please keep on watching. The first thing I am going to do, I'm going to put on my contacts because if you guys don't know, your girl is blind. The first thing I'm going to be using is my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2. Ugh, my eye is so irritated. <laughs> See, that's the only downfall of like using contacts. You have to be very careful. Also, I have a little runny nose. I am getting sick. My throat started hurting first, and then I started getting a runny nose. I feel like I'm catching the flu, so excuse that. Okay, now I'm going to be going in with the Morphe Times Jeffree Star palette. The first shade I am going in is the Mr. Diva. Okay, since this is a Q&A. Let's get on with the questions. So the first and the most common question is, at what age did you start doing makeup? And I was in seventh grade. It was the beginning of seventh grade. And I was about 11 or 12. And it started off really small. Literally, I only did my eyebrows and mascara. Just eyebrows and mascara. Just imagine how crazy I looked. But yet again, back then my skin used to be popping, but now it's all. You know, I have blemishes. I have a pimple right here. I have a scar, a pimple I just popped. My skin is just boo boo right now. I have discoloration, but I mean, it's life. Okay, next question is favorite fast food place? Um, that's a good question. Ooh, favorite fast food place? Uh, Chick-fil-A, Cane's. It would have to be Cane's for sure, actually. Yeah, Cane's would for sure be my favorite fast food place. Oh my goodness. I remember the first time I tried Cane's was in Chicago back in 2017. And in Chicago, Cane's is like in every single corner. And here in California, um, Cane's was non-existent. The only Cane's that was here in California was in Downey. So if you guys are not familiar with that area, it's LA area. I am going to dip in the shade Boss Angels. So I remember they opened a Cane's in Orange County. We used to live in San Bernardino back then. Now I live in Moreno Valley. We used to bust a mission whenever I was craving canes from San Bernardino to Orange County just to get canes. So we would drive an hour. And when they made canes here in Riverside and in San Bernardino, I was like, oh yes, finally. And the people who introduced me to canes was my cousin Bianca and Jenny. So shout out to you girls. Now going in with Calabasas. Ugh. Guys, I'm so sick. So the next question is, what's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you? The most embarrassing thing that has happened to me, I was at my godfather's and godmother's house. Oh, godparents, I should just say that. <laughs> I was at my godparents' house and my Nino, which is godfather, bought my cousins a pool where the pool was positioned at it was really close to the rooftop of their house and i remember my cousins so they went <laughs> on top of the roof and they're like hey Lex, do you want to come with us and i'm like hell yeah and me trying to be cool trying to be one of the boys um they asked me do you want to go first and i'm like no 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 y'all can go first and then i'll go last and they all went it looked so much fun <laughs> and there was a little puddle of water at the edge of the rooftop i didn't know 
and when I was running I slipped onto that puddle and I fell back and hit my freaking head on the rooftop and then I fall onto the edge of the pool like the rim of the pool hit my back and then I flop over and hit the cement oh my god that was the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me I was trying to be cool I was trying to hang with the boys and that shit did not fly and I remember my cousin Stacy got so freaked out she's like oh my god are you okay and I'm like Yes, I'm okay. Let's keep swimming. You know, I pretend like nothing ever happened. Bitch, it hurt, but I still kept it pushing and <laughs> pretended like it did it. But yeah, that was the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me. Ugh. Memories. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't. I was so dumb. Like, how could I not see that? But that's what I get for trying to be cool and hang with the boys. The next question is, what type of liquor girl are you? Ooh, liquor. Um, I, I don't really have a type. I love Jack Daniels. I love Don Julio. <laughs> um, I, I like everything. Vodka. Vodka's really good. I like the Grey Goose one because it goes really smooth down your throat. The next question is, you like black guys? <laughs> Girl, I like them all. It don't matter what you are, black, white, Mexican, come holla at me. Next question is, what is your zodiac sign? I am an Aquarius baby and you didn't ask for my birthday, but I'm going to say it anyways. February 10th. So it just passed and it was a day a queen was born. Next question is, have you ever snuck out your house? Ooh, y'all trying to get me in trouble. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yes, when I was younger, I used to do it all the time. Sorry, mom. Uh, I'm rotting myself out. How dare I? So the next question is, what's your personality like? Mm, my personality. I'm very blunt. Very blunt. I say how it is. Sometimes it may come out rude. But that's not my intentions. My intentions are always pure. Um, it's always tough love over here. For sure. And then I'm going in with welcome. But back to what I was saying about my personality. Yeah, I have a really big heart. Um, I'm very outgoing, adventurous. So if y'all ever want to go out, do some adventurous things, hit me up. I'm always down. Just know that I'm crippled and it may take a little bit more time. But bear with me because I'm down to do anything. But if I don't like you... You will know I don't like you. Either I'll tell you or my face says it all. Going in with two, I am going to apply that in the center of my lid. Mixing, well not mixing, just blending those two shimmery shades together. Okay y'all, so I already finished this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. Alright y'all, so I already did the other eye off camera. Now I'm going in with my Dubai lashes from the Makeup Shack. Isn't this so cute? They changed it because I would only have um, the letterings right here. But the letterings, instead of black, they were gold. And it was hard for people to see them and the camera lens to focus on it because you couldn't see it. So... The next question is, what's your favorite lash brand? Put me on. Girl, I got you. Speaking of lashes, um, my favorite lash brand is for sure Batty B Lashes. Um, my favorite style of Batty B Lashes are saucy. Um, also, um, Lily Lashes is a really good brand, but they're just very expensive. But 
for the more affordable lash brands i definitely like the makeup shack i for sure love dramatic lashes so dubai is one of their dramatic lashes it's a really really good lash um what's another one a good affordable lash brand as well is also um what is it called kiss kiss has really good lashes i remember when i first started off putting on lashes kiss was for sure my go-to and they actually came out with 3d styles and mink lashes damn aren't these cute and to blend my natural lashes with my fake lashes i'm just going to apply mascara A lot of people apply mascara before putting on their lashes, mm, but I don't. <laughs> you see the difference? Lash, no lash. I look naked as hell <laughs> with no lash. Let me put the other one on because I'm probably looking a little bit crazy. So meanwhile, this one's drying up. The next question is, have you ever been in a fight? <sighs> Guys, I used to be really bad when I was in middle school. I used to be a little fighter. When I was younger, I was literally, I don't have patience. That's one thing I struggle on. I don't have patience. Um, my progress has been amazing because now I can tolerate some things. But back then, oh lord. Mm -mm. It's getting hot. But speaking of that, I guess I'll tell you guys one little quick snippet of the story. Um, one of my stories. <laughs> First off, I'm going to use Born This Way Foundation. But I already primed my skin off camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the foundation. Um, all I just got to say is that my sisters are real ones. Because... <laughs> They're just ruins. Guys, my camera died and I already filmed me putting on my foundation and I was actually low-key talking to myself. Anyways, I never fought girls my age. Um, they were all older girls. And I remember one girl, she was talking shit. She was in high school. If you are from SB, y'all know, I went to King and the high school was literally down the street, which is a royal. So this girl was talking shit and I used to walk home every single day from school and I heard from another person that she was trying to jump me and catch me slipping on my way walking home from school and I was like say less and I called my sister up and I'm like Jessica I think she was she wasn't working that day and it was a perfect day I'm like Jessica come pick me up and take me to a royal. I'm about to fuck this bitch up. She was like, okay. And I told my friend Maggie about it. And this is why I love Maggie, because she's always down for everything. Maggie, if you're watching this, shout out to you, girl. And Paloma, if you're watching this, shout out to you too, boo. I love my Lechuga sisters, because they've always been down for anything, and vice versa with me too. Um. Something about me guys, I cannot multitask. This is horrible. <laughs> Puma and Maggie were like, girl, I'm going with you. And I'm like, say less. King always got out earlier than a royal. King got out like at 2.11. Damn, how do I remember this? King got out at like 2.11 and a royal got out at 2.35. And my sister picked up me and Maggie. And this is why I love my sister because she didn't even have to do that. <laughs> When I say I'm about to fight, she's there in a quick minute. So, um, my sister picked up me and Maggie from King. And then Paloma went to Eisenhower High School, which is in Rialto. So, she literally went from San Bernardino to Rialto. She was low-key zooming. And we picked up Paloma from Eisenhower. We went to a royal. And we literally got there exactly at 2.35. And we literally heard the bell ring for class to be out 
and I'm like, okay, where is she? She's trying to jump me. She wants to fight. I'm here. What's up? Let's go type of thing. And we're over here asking for her. We're like, where is she at? Where is she at? To like random ass people. And from someone that knows her, she left home early. And I'm like, what was the fuss about? Like, what was all that about? And yeah, that was one snippet of the story. But later on, we saw each other, we got down, and that was it, the rest is history. <laughs> but my sister was so mad at the fact that she just wasted all that gas. But this is why I love my sisters. Even Haley too. Haley would have been there in a quick minute, but she was at work. But that's the tea. The next question is, how tall are you? And I am five feet. I am a short person. When I was in sixth grade, I was 4'8", and then seventh grade, I was 4'10", and then eighth grade, I was still 4'10", and when I hit freshman year, I hit five feet, and I haven't grown since, unfortunately. And my oldest sister is 4'11", and she is, how old is she? My sister is 10 years older than me. And she's 4'11". <laughs> I just noticed I forgot to say what concealer I used and the contour. So I'm using the NARS. Wait, it's this way. Is it? No, it's this way. <laughs> I'm using the NARS Radiant Concealer and I went in with the KKW Contour Stick. I'm going in with Laura Mercier translucent powder and just a regular brush I'm going to set the concealer I don't like to bake I know some people like to bake but I personally don't like to bake my skin type is so weird I have oily parts and then I have super dry parts so that's the reason why I don't like to bake because of course, you know, for my dry skin people out there, if you bake too long, your skin gets patchy. And that is not cute. <laughs> this question is, what is your favorite genre of music? For sure, it's absolutely funk music. Now going in with my MAC bronzer. Next question is, do you have any kids? Yes, I have a son. He has blue eyes and he's cute. He is a German Shepherd mixed with a Husky. <laughs> and his name is Loki. That's my son. That's the only kid I have. <coughs> Bless me, thank you. Yes, I just blessed myself. <laughs> Okay, so next I'm going in with the MAC blush. So the next question is, how many kids do you want? Ooh, uh, how many kids do I want? Mm. If you guys don't know, I am very family orientated. Um, I do have a big family. So if God blesses me with kids, hopefully God willingly, I do want four kids. I want to make it even two girls and two boys because if y'all know the struggle <laughs> when you have siblings, one gets mad at the other so you have the other sibling to talk to, you feel me? And I don't know, I just want my kids to have other siblings when they grow older. I want them to be like, oh, I'm going to go visit my brother's house or oh, we're going to have a carne asada you know at so-and-so's house i don't know i just like a big family
but you know if i can't have four kids i'm good with two god if you're listening just give me the pareja just give me a boy and a girl speaking of that twins do run in my family so either one of my i think my my sister Haley's already done with having kids mm. so either me or my sister jessica are gonna be blessed with twins so if i get blessed with twins <laughs> pray for me y'all pray for me because kids are a lot of work i do want to have kids when i am financially stable because not only are they a lot of work babies are expensive the reason why i'm saying that is because i don't have kids but my sister does have kids and i raise them like if they were my own and i'm pretty much their third mommy because their second mommy is my mom which is their grandma okay next question is how did you meet ariana and how did you guys become best friends mm, okay me and ariana met when I was eight years old, and Ariana is a year older than me. Wait, is she a year older than me or she's two years older than me? She's a year and a half, going on to two years. Once upon a time, my sister Haley and Ariana's cousin Brianna were once really close friends, and Brianna always used to take care of Ariana. Brianna, if you're watching this, shout out to you, girl. And Ariana YouTube boo. We all met at a park and I remember I used to see Ariana at school um, We always used to see each other at school, but we never interacted when I was in elementary I used to play a lot of double dutch when me and Ariana met She was like, oh my gosh, you're that double dutch girl. And I'm like, yes, that's me. And I'm like, oh, you're that skater girl Because <laughs> if you guys don't know Ariana used to be the biggest tomboy ever I'm talking about basketball shorts, a baggy t-shirt that did not fit her, her nappy ass curly hair. If you guys don't know, Ariana has such beautiful curly hair. And when she was little, this chick would not do her hair at all. It was the most nappiest curly hair I've ever seen. <laughs> and she always had a beanie on. And I'll be like, can I please do your hair? Can I dress you up in a dress? And she would refuse all the time. And ever since that, we've been best friends. Next question is, why did you move from San Bernardino? The reason why we moved from San Bernardino, we didn't have an issue living in San Bernardino. We literally grew up there. Growing up in the west side, what do you expect? Literally gunshots, drive-bys, everything. Literally, everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows everybody's business, uh, especially if you have family from the west side. Living by 7th Street, of course, it's always gonna be violent, um, especially Victoria Street as well. I remember towards the last few weeks of us living there, there was always like drive-bys. That's just a normal day in the hood, okay? You see all of that. So when my sister had Aaliyah, it was still calm, just the normal activity. People just dying left and right. When Aaliyah turned one, that's when, you know, the hood started getting crazy. The hood always has its ups and downs when it comes to violence. And there was drive-bys literally every other day. My sister's like, oh no, I cannot have my child living, this, living in this environment. I don't want to live here anymore. So my sister decided to buy a house out here. I'm very family orientated and so are my sisters. We just grew up that way and she didn't want to move out without her family. So she decided to take us with her. And yeah, that's how we moved to Moreno Valley. Okay, so now I'm gonna finish it off with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Honestly, I like this spray better than the Morphe spray. Mm, drenched. <laughs> oh, this is a vibe. Okay, y'all, that concludes the video. Thank you for watching this. Get ready with me, Q&A video. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. If you guys want to see more in-depth tutorials for makeup, let me know in the comments. I'll for sure be able to do that for you guys. There will be a lot of story times in this channel, vlogs, get ready with me. Just a good time and a good laugh on this channel. So stay tuned for more, okay? All right, y'all, bye. <laughs>